Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sonia. If you are new, I if you are not new, welcome back, fam. We are all good here, fam. We're. I mean, I'm not really that great, but that's just because I had surgery on Thursday. So, let me tell you. Let me rewind, guys. I'm sorry I'm tilting my head. I'm on my couch right now, literally. That's where I'm at. I have these, like, cuffs on my bed and everything. So, Wednesday, right? Wednesday, before my surgery, I had to be on a complete liquid diet, clear liquid. I was drinking broth. I was drinking water. I was drinking some Sprite. I was drinking a lot of water. I had people have food around me, and it was so difficult not to cave in and just eat. Give me a second. I'm trying to adjust the lighting. Okay. Trying not to cave in and eat. Like, that was so difficult. But, thanks to my good friend Jenny at school, she likes... She was there for me, like, really. She was like, bro, I'm not letting you eat. And I was like, but, you know, I did start getting lightheaded. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. I did get lightheaded. Um, that's the reason why I had to get a Sprite. I called up my doctor's office and was like, hey, I'm getting lightheaded. Is there a possibility I can just get a Sprite? And they were like, yeah. And I said, okay, go back. So, I get home, I just go straight to bed, Thursday rolls around, I get up at 4 o'clock in the morning, I'm taking my shower with my antibacterial soap, and literally, I'm just like washing my body, everything like that, get there, and they're like, hey, well, first when I get there, right, I go in the facility. I'm like, hey, I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. I'll be right back. The lady at the front desk said, okay, cool. Get back. They called me back. They're like, hey, um, do you have, can you pee, pee for us? Excuse me. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm burping throughout this. I have to burp. I have so much gas built up in me. It's ridiculous. Um, they were like, yeah. Do you have to pee? I was like, no, I just peed. They were like, you gotta be kidding me. I was like, no, I'm being so serious. Like, I just let the lady at the front desk know I was gonna use the bathroom. They were like, oh my god, I wish you would have told me. Like, she would have told me that you were here because we have to do a pregnancy test on you. And I was like, oh, you gotta be kidding me. So, yeah. Then, on top of that, guys, right, I get back there, alright, and they put an IV in me, everything like that, and I'm, like, going past, I'm, like, ignoring them because, like, I'm not trying to hear their bullshit, like, some of the people on the staff had a whole freaking attitude for no problem, for, like, no reason at all, so after I wake up from my surgery, right, there's this old lady. I'm going to call her Medusa because that's exactly the fuck she was. Medusa's ass is over here slapping me like this. Miss Baskin. Miss Baskin, can you get up? Can you walk for me? I'm looking at her. I'm like, I'm in pain. What do you want? You need to get up and walk. I'm like, first of all, did you not hear that I was throwing up? Because when they first, they kept trying to wake me up, I was throwing up from the amnesia. That's how sick I was getting. You have her hitting me. You have her, like, poking at me hard. And it's like, oh my gosh, she's not cooperating. Like, ugh. Like, I'm really in my mind, I'm like, bitch, get the fuck away from me. Because really, if I was not in this much pain, like, I would be putting my hands all over your ass right now. Like, we would be fighting right now. So, she keeps doing that. She keeps giving me a fucking attitude, everything like that. I'm just tuning her out, really. And I keep going in and out of, like, sleep. So, you see me going in and out, in and out, in and out. Like, I'm hearing partially what they're saying, but not really all of it. And I'm just, like, spitting up everything. I'm like, oh my god. 
I feel god awful. Like, I still feel in pain. So, I finally get ho home, right? And then I have to go straight to the ER because I'm still not keeping any liquids down. I'm throwing them all up. I'm not keeping anything down. I called my doctor. My doctor is like, I want you to come back to John Creek's, um, Mariners, whatever their hospital is that he's associated with. I'm like, I'm all the way in LJ right now. Like, I literally just drove an hour and 30 minutes to come back home. Like, I'm not getting back in the car. I can't really do another car, car ride. And he's like, okay, go to the closest ER, have them do some fluids on you and give you pain medication like that. So I do that. Um, I still call the on-call surgeon who, I'm going to call him dummy. Dummy, right? Literally, because that's exactly who, who he fucking is. He really is a fucking idiot. Was like, oh yeah, she doesn't need to be admitted. Even though the two, the doctor in the ER and the nurse who was taking care of me said that they should not have let me let leave because of how much pain I'm in. What? Because of how much, what? Pain? Oh. Yeah. And since they have not dealt with anybody and they don't have a bariatric surgeon or anything like that on their staff, I could not be admitted into the hospital because I was still under another doctor's orders. Right? But. So, I'm just like, okay, whatever, you know, like, okay, they kept me drugged up. Now, I wake up today, I'm still in so much pain, so much pain. It feels like 20 trucks. Sorry, guys. It feels like 20 trucks have just ran over me. And then they all decided to reverse back over me. That's how it feels. Literally, I don't think nobody, like, nobody's told me how bad this pain would be. Nobody told me anything. And when I first, like, the day I woke up and everything out of the hospital, I was in the car ride. And I'm, like, thinking in my head, why the hell did I do this fucking surgery? I was only 277 pounds. Like, when I weighed in the day of surgery, I went from being 280 to being 277 pounds. I'm just like, what did I, like, why? And then what popped back in my head was, you want to be tiny. Like, I do want to be a... Like, I don't want to be skinny, skinny. I just want to be nice and thick all around, you know. And I hate the fact that I feel like society basically tells you, you know, I go on Instagram, I go on Facebook, and I see all these people who are skinny and they're not plus size like me. And I go in the stores and I'm looking for clothes that are cute for me. And I'm like, yeah, they might have some of my sizes, but, you know, it's like they're not even that cute. You know, like, why you always gotta leave the big girls out? Like, come on now. Like, what's good? Like, what's really good, you know? And I hate the feeling, like, I'm not, like, especially, you know, being 21 years old, I'm in this cosmetology industry to throw on the fact that you're seeing girls, you know, tiny waist, big butt, big boobs, you know, and you're like, damn, you know, and you see all the guys checking them out, you know, no guy's gonna touch you if you look like me, like, you know that, and in the back of your mind, you're thinking that, and it's just like, no guys are gonna stunt you, you know, and it's like, always, you're feeling like you're competing, you have to compete, and it's like, at the end of the day, I'm like, man, I love the way I looked before I got this done, and... I don't care if a guy checks me out at this point because all this fucking pain I'm in, you know, yeah, it's worth it in a way because it's a tool to help me with the way I can eat and for me to stop binge eating sometimes. But at the same time, I'm just like, like, come on now, like, you know.
and it's just like I'm just always I'm just so over it guys like I'm so over people society trying to tell you the way to look you know yeah it's a little bit too late um if I do I still regret getting the surgery really no I don't regret it I feel like this is going to help me have be able to have healthy safe children in the future I mean that's all that matters to me and if I the fact that I'm going to finally actually lose some weight and my body can stop har harboring on this fat that's all that matters to me too um but yeah I'm not really ready to show you guys like how my tummy looks right now because your girl is still swollen. I'm bloated as hell. I got like... Guys, I'm only in a t-shirt with no bra on right now. That tells you, like, really? Yeah. Like, when I was in the ER... Guys... But sorry, when I was in the freaking hospital ER though, I kept something that they're not gonna tell you. I don't know if it's for everybody, but I kept urinating on myself. I did. Every time the nurse had to come in and change me, she took my pants off, she took my underwear off, she had to wipe me down, she had to put new sheets on the bed because I kept urinating on myself nonstop. And on top of that, you're talking about not getting, being hungry. Like, every single time I try to drink something, it feels like I want to spit it back up. And for some reason, I keep spitting up everything. Like, my saliva, everything. I'm just spitting it all back up. Um, but if anybody had VSG already, like, please comment below and tell me, give me some advice. Um, and if you're thinking about it, you can always comment and ask me questions, guys. I will be as upfront and honest with you as I am with anybody, you know. And I just wanted to get on here so you guys can see me what today's Saturday. So what being two days post-op looks like, I mean... If you're thinking about getting VSG, get it for yourself. Do not try to get it just to look the way, you know, these Instagram models look like. Because that's what all these basketball players, football players, everybody in your home fucking town looks at. You know, just be yourselves and keep being the kings and queens that you are and that God made you to be. Hold your head up high. They might see your crown slip, but they will never see your crown fall. And you better not, you know, just, I thank God for allowing me to see another day, you know, because I am a high, I was a high risk surgery because of some fact that I have blood clots, aka DBTs. But yeah, if you have any questions, comment below. My Snapchat name is Sonia Bacon. All right. So my, and also my IG is Tranquility Beauties. So, if you guys want to hit me up on there, you guys can. Any other things, just let me know. Your girl loves you guys. Have a blessed day. And peace be with you guys. Bye.